Since 1977, the Alaska Pipeline has transported over 15 billion barrels of oil from the frozen regions of northern Alaska to the ice-free port of Valdez. The pipeline is 800 miles long and crosses three mountain ranges and over 800 rivers and streams. It took two years to complete and cost $8 billion. One of the challenges that faced the construction crews of the pipeline was the weather and the frozen terrain. Let's talk for a minute about permafrost. The definition of permafrost is any rock or soil material that has been at a, uh, at a temperature below freezing for two or more years. Much of the ground area in Alaska is covered by permafrost, and there are different types, which meant different methods had to be followed when constructing the pipeline. The northern part of Alaska is covered in continuous permafrost. This is the closest thing to actual permanent frozen ground, it can withstand a good amount of heat without thawing. In thaw-stable permafrost, the pipeline was buried conventionally in the ground. It's where thaw-unstable permafrost was found that things had to be changed a bit. If the pipeline had been buried in thaw-unstable permafrost, it would be susceptible to things like frost jacking, meaning when the ground thaws and refreezing occurs, the pipeline could shift placement. In these cases, the pipeline was built on elevated pilings above the ground.